Thanks, Dr. Johnson. Um, so, like I should mention, my name is Eriberto Reynoso. Please call me Beto. Um, motivating undergraduates in science and technology. I'm a computer science major at the University of Texas at Brownsville, and I'll be talking about three points, which is the MUST program, um, community outreach, and my two internships at JPL, which is the Jet Propulsion Laboratory. So, MUST is a cooperation between the Hispanic College Fund and NASA. There's a lot of benefits, but the main benefits are scholarships, internships, uh, tutoring with, throughout the semester if need be by students, a lecture series, and uh, mentoring from STEM faculty, which, have been proving, which has been proven to be very successful. It's open to all undergraduates in the nation. So the impact it's had on me. Two years and one day ago, I got this email from Holly Trisk at the Hispanic College Fund. It read, NASA scholarship, congratulations. <laughs> so what I did, I, I did a yeah, and I jumped on my bed, which I haven't done for years. Um, and this was the kickoff to a great opportunity. Um, the NASA Must Symposium, this was my, actually my, my, one of my first real um, development um, uh, activities out of my hometown. Um, introduction to NASA centers and uh, what centers we can attend at and, and intern, um, networking events with 100 of the best and brightest minds in the nation, uh, motivational speakers, and a lot of awesome uh, workshops to get me in gear. So, my first internship was at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory. Uh, my duty was to automate um, camera calibration for a high resolution aerial surveillance project funded by the Air Force Research Laboratory. Um, next slide. So, my second internship with this past summer um, was to create a GUI, which is a graphical user interface to control um, robotic hardware. In this sense, was uh, for Moonrise, which is a 2016 proposed mission. Um, so, researchers need these GUIs to control uh, the research rovers in the field. And my next project, in progress, there's a GUI for the Mars Sample Return Mission for 2018. Um, so, this is the end product of my uh, last uh, internship, uh, which was create a GUI that controls a huge robotic arm to go to the moon, the South Pole Basin. Off the job in California, it's an amazing place, and part of an intern is also having fun. Work hard, play hard. <laughs> so, community outreach. Um, I've been offered these amazing opportunities, and I want to give back to, you know, my community. It's mostly of Hispanic origin, um, poverty and whatnot, and um, I wanted to use what I did when I was in high school as my tools, which were robots. So in high school, I built nine robots, and I wanted to take them out of my garage and get the dust off and um, display them to, you know, K-12. And what, what, what happened next was kind of interesting. Went back to my high school, and I presented the robots, and I tried to help other high school students who didn't have a chance. Um, why? Because I didn't have anybody to help me out. I was building robots with a soldering iron and a, and a power drill, um, and that was my first robots, and I didn't have any sponsors or whatnot, so I told these guys, if I, if I could do it, hell, you could do it. <laughs> so motivate thousands of young students in South Texas and to help them find their passion like I did early on. There's a lot of college students who don't know what to do in college, so um, I want to make sure they find their passion early on, and I do it through robotics. So, in the year 2009 alone, I did 20, 22 outreach events. Um, I went through elementaries, middle schools. I brought in my friends, um, and they helped me out, move all the gear and whatnot. Um, I did this while, all while I was doing a, a full-time undergraduate degree. So part of this goes into play where how, how do we use robots um, you know, to, to uh, motivate uh, the STEM uh, uh, young students um, uh, is to actually bring it in and, and display them um, one by one, and that's what I did. And that grabbed a lot of attention from the media. So the impact the most progress had on me and the internships uh, was to pursue a master's and PhD um, at CMU in robotics. 
And then, well, within NASA, pursue a fellowship, career the Jet Propulsion Laboratory is my dream job, um, and keep doing great work in the Student Ambassadors Program, and mentor other most scholars going up the ranks. So, I'm just one, but there's a whole army of 100 students um, in the MUS program doing the same thing I'm doing. I'm just one of them, and here they are. So that's uh, this cohort's um, MUS scholars. Thanks for your time.